She wants to we don't have family to volunteer with. Hey everybody, it's me Lappy and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims for the Chandler family. Back at it again with double upload week. Okay, so Oasis is desperately sad right now. We need to work on that. But I'm going to go ahead and watch this. Oh, okay. We're going to self-publish Pat the Badger. Gonna do that right after she showers. We're gonna put her shower in her inventory too. Okay, there we go. Gonna make sure we have this. And she desperately needs some socialization in her life. So, uh, we're gonna go out again. I'm gonna head back to the library. And you know what? I'm gonna bring Isaac with us. Because even though she doesn't have a phone or anything, she doesn't deserve to be so lonely. We're gonna go out with Isaac Bigelow and just chill at the library for a little bit. Work on her writing and painting some more. I was gonna have harvesting and stuff be her main way of making money, but um, that didn't make it enough to support her and keep her alive. So we're gonna have to keep going after our artistic endeavors. She is desperately lonely, and I feel really bad. Okay, let's just chat with Isaac a little bit. Let's discuss some world peace. Ask him for some advice. If she wants to buy an easel, we can try and do that. Uh, you haven't done any messing around. You can't boast about it. Uh, let's discuss some interests with him. Don't show off your favorite game, you don't have a phone. Uh, let's just say that we ran into him. Randomly. We didn't expect to see him here, but we did. You did not see me add him to our group or anything. That didn't happen. Let's ask him about Woohoo, see if he's ever done anything. Tell him an engaging story, maybe. Just try to bond with the boy. get to know him. If you're interested in this boy, you should get to know him, Oasis. Seriously. Tell him a gross joke. Telling, telling him a secret. She saw a ghost one time. Ask about his day. Tell him an urban legend. talk about the best bait, maybe. No, we don't want to talk to Hokeen. We're not supposed to be talking to people. Have a deep conversation with him. Show off your outfit. Give him a heartfelt compliment. Give him a hug. Why not? Deep conversation. She's feeling good because she's got a deep connection with this boy. Give him an inside joke. Brighten his day up. Another deep conversation. And now she's good friend with our boy Isaac. Brighten his day up. A couple times. Make sure his day is super bright. Discuss some interests. We gotta make sure that her social need is like all the way up because it is a pain in the neck to try and get it up. Tell him a joke about mimes. Have another deep conversation. Ask about his day. It's getting late. His curfew is coming up soon, so he's gonna need to leave. And she wants to give him an embrace, actually. 
She wants to be a tiny bit romantic. Because she does have a very mild crush on him. And there, now it's actually showing up. And she's going to compliment his appearance, and then we can go ahead and disband the group and let him go. Okay, there we go. Teen romance. Always the best. I do want to end up meeting the Ponsetta Wu sisters sometime, but I don't know how I'm supposed to randomly run into them in public. But we're gonna have her do a little bit of painting, make some money, get some artistic endeavors. Okay, and she's going to do writing too. Discuss color theory. Oh man, we should have done that while we still had Isaac. Do we? Is he still around? Is he indoors somewhere? Maybe. No, he's not. Yes, he is. There he is. There's Isaac. Are you a young adult? Yes, you are. Ronald Benson is a young adult. Okay. Discuss color theory. Stop. I want you to... I need to fix her sleep schedule. I really, really do. Because her dream is to become a doctor. And if she continues to stay up all night, every single night, it's going to be a bit of a problem for her. Okay, what does she want to do because she's happy? That's something social. She wants to flirt with Isaac. We can do that. And she wants to make a friend. Go ahead and flirt a little bit. Work on her whims just for the sake of working on whims. And potentially getting ourselves a sleep replacement. Okay, there we go. Or a moodlet solver, something she wants to level up in painting skills, she can do that. Come downstairs and keep painting this. Got teen romance and artistic stuff going on in this episode, which I'm sure excites everybody. Because I sure like writing about, or not writing about, but I sure like talking about teen romance and artistic stuff. Those are my two favorite things. Okay. I think she's gonna go off to. How many parts? She's only two. Two episodes away from aging up. Wow. That's not a lot. Her runaway teen days are almost over. She's going to be an actual adult. Doing adult things. Wow. I'm a little bit emotional about it. She's going through a phase. She's feeling distant. She wants to be alone. Okay. You're alone a lot of the time anyway. I don't care. Okay. Going through a phase right at the tail end of her teen years. Man, someday Oasis is going to have kids and she's going to have so much anxiety when they're teenagers. But I think she's this experience is moving her towards wanting to be a great parent. Okay, we're gonna sell this to a collector. Uh, and we'll quit painting for now. We'll go ahead and work on some writing, because that's at least a daily income. However, painting does make more money, and it makes it quicker, so we'll do another classic painting. Because that works towards her aspiration, too. I've never actually completed the um, Painter Extraordinaire aspiration. Because... Um, because... There's a thing. 
Oh, yeah, because uh, it makes them uh, go out to the museum to look at paintings. And most of the time, my sims are homebodies, but Oasis does not spend too much of her time at home. She's a nomad at heart, so I can definitely see her going ahead and going out and working on... There we go, that's fixing up a whim and looking at paintings. No, you're not going to paint a mural because we don't go to the city. She wants to restore a mural. No, she wants to vol you don't have family to volunteer with. And she just keeps wanting to do stuff with murals, which is a pain, but it's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this, get some more cash. There we go. She's angry because she's hot headed. She's going to need to eat soon. Gonna have her use the restroom and then come on upstairs and do some more writing, maybe. Writing a, write another children's book. I don't see why not. We'll go on out to gym next so that she can eat. And we'll probably end up staying the night around there. Because there are at least easels around there, so she can keep working. And I'm going to have to get her a sleep replacement so that we can try and fix her sleep schedule and have her stay up during the day. Never eat your pet turtle. Okay. Yeah, that that's good advice. That's some good advice for a child. Okay, and she's gonna level up her writing skill again soon, too. But she's really hungry, though. We're gonna need to go out with her. Definitely. I kind of wish the gym had computers, because that would make my life easier. <sighs> and make it so that there's less traveling required. But, you know, everything hates me, and I'm fine with that. I kind of wish I'd had her move to the city so that she could at least access the stuff in the city. But I didn't want her to be in an apartment or anything, and I didn't feel like carrying down the old salt house and pay 400 in rent for a completely empty space. But okay, gonna fast forward a little bit. When she either levels up her writing skill or finishes this children book, children book, children's book, then we can go ahead and back off and take her out to eat. Okay, level three of the writing skill. She can stop now, and we're going to go to the gym. Okay. There's a TV at the gym so she can watch while eating too. I'm gonna get rid of the counters downstairs and maybe replace them with a bar or something because I'm kind of sick of sitting down and watching while she goes around and it causes issues and just has to feels the need to walk across the whole gym to make herself some food probably end up starving to death one of these days if we keep that up. <sighs> okay. Man, I've washed my hair twice since the last time we bleached it yesterday and it still smells like bleach. <sighs> Remember kids, if you feel the need to dye your hair a crazy color and you need to bleach it to do that, your hair's gonna stink for a little bit. But okay, we're gonna get rid of this counter downstairs. Wow, I don't like this- the look of this gym. Like, that much at all. But okay, we're gonna come on upstairs. See, there's lots of perfectly good counter space up here. We're gonna have some eggs and toast. I know you're hungry, you can go ahead and go upstairs and eat something, I promise. Once she gets a job and actually has, like, a little house 
It's almost Oasis' birthday. Yay, she's gonna be a grown up. But once she's uh, got a job and a house and shelter and stuff, then I'm going to give her a makeover and go ahead and make it so that she uh, doesn't look like she rolled out of bed like this. Okay. Just to make her hair look nicer and fancier, make her clothes look nicer. She's gonna go shopping and she's gonna go wild with it. And I feel like that's something that she's been dying to do for a long time. So it's going to be nice. And I'm proud of her. Because maybe it wasn't the most responsible thing to run away from home. But clearly she's doing fine. We are real close to being able to... She wants to make a sack lunch. Yeah, we can do that. That's quick and easy. And we're gonna get her a sleep replacement so that we can go ahead and fix up her sleep schedule. Make it so that she's not only ever awake at night. Wow, four whole dollars. Writing skills really being helpful in that. But okay, she's gonna eat. Why don't you come downstairs and watch TV while you eat too? Who that? Okay, that's Paolo. I don't know why so many people like Paolo. Like, I used to watch some other people. I still watch Sims YouTubers, but back when the game was newer, a bunch of people really liked Paolo, and I still do not understand why, because he's not even that nice looking. But you know, that might just be because I'm not interested in guys. Okay. Hokeen's down there. We're gonna not buy an easel. What does she want to do? Dance to stereo music. She wants to watch TV, she's doing that right now. I'll cancel this action and wait for the TV to be off and then start. No, not channel surf, just watch TV. Okay, she doesn't own a television, but I'm glad that the game thinks that she does. Okay, now we have enough for some sleep replacement. Go ahead and buy it. And she can go ahead and drink it. She's gonna be up during the day today. There we go. Much better. Okay. She does need some fun in her life. But you know what? That's not my problem right now. We need to have her go out and do some painting. God, I hate the way this gym is laid out. It takes them frickin' forever to walk across. But okay, gonna fast forward a little bit while she's doing that. Oh, I never noticed that this cafe has, like, an open window thing. That's cute. Okay, I've decided that I can't tear down the cafe it's going to be Disco with Pan Europa that goes okay because Oasis when she's making more money and she has a family and stuff she's going to move out here to this part of Windenburg okay When she's done with that, I I will let her... Who the heck are you? You look interesting. Pause the game. Another young adult. Why aren't there any crazy teens around here? 
We're only allowed to talk to crazy teens. Okay, sell that. And start another one. Okay, we've completed one part of her aspiration. Which is good. And we need to sell three paintings and complete three emotional paintings. Which shouldn't be too hard, honestly. Okay. And once she's done with this, I'll have her sell it and then maybe watch some more TV. Because her fun need is struggling a little bit. And I'll have her use the restroom too. I'll probably end up cheating down her sleep needs so that she can sleep at night. Because uh, she needs to stop being a night owl and working so hard. I say as I'm the reason she is a night owl and works so hard. She does need some form of money, so I guess I can't judge her too much for being all work, little play. What level painting is she at? She's already almost at level 6, man. That was kind of quick. Okay. We almost done with this? Spice Festival's in town. That's why it was frozen. Okay. No, Isaac. I'm not allowed to go to the city or anything, and I don't have a phone. Okay gonna speed on through until she finishes this up. There we go. Go ahead and sell that to the collector. Freaking double how much money you have. Okay, she needs bladder and fun. You know what? I need to fix this. I'm sorry but I'm really not. Okay. I'm gonna put a door down here. Cause holy crap does it drive me insane when they walk around the whole place. Okay, we're gonna head downstairs, have her use the restroom, and then head upstairs and have her watch TV. For the sake of taking care of her like responsible sims players sim player I'm the only one here I sit here and talk to myself a lot because it's fun you know what I use this one no no wait holy shit is this frustrating or what I'm going to teleport her in here. And she's going to use the restroom. Go to the bathroom. And take a shower. Gonna take care of ourselves a little bit. And she needs some food. So when she's done with that, she can come upstairs, have some fish tacos for dinner, gonna make sure that she's nice and taken care of. I know you need some fun. Oh my god. Holy crap. You know what? She's gonna shower in the men's bathroom. No, don't. I'm gonna teleport her in here so that she can take a shower then I'll teleport her out. I don't care. Gender is a societal construction in any way. It doesn't matter. No. No, I don't teleport out here. some clothes. Maybe just your athletic wear will work. Cause you're at a gym and all. Okay. This drives me crazy. That 
glitch where their feet are connected. It's insane to me. It doesn't make any sense. Nothing about the Sims makes sense. Okay, she's just gonna have some mac and cheese for dinner. My patience is limited. I'm suffering. But it's fine. It's all fine. It's okay. This is so much quicker and easier. Just having that one door that leads into the workout room is just so much easier. I don't understand why EA couldn't have done it like that. She's embarrassed because she walked in on. Oh, Clara Bashers. Okay. It's alright. It's all fine. She, and she's gonna come downstairs and watch TV too. You know, she's gonna be an adult in a couple days. It's gonna be okay. I can't tell if I'm reassuring you guys or if I'm reassuring myself right now, honestly. She's miserable. I never let my sims get this miserable. Okay, I'm dying to know her th who- oh, it's just Eva. okay. The one with the weird face shape, who makes weird looking babies. gonna fast forward why did you reset keep eating your mac and cheese you're allowed to talk to darling Walsh cuz she's a teen give her a heartfelt compliment get to know I'm in agony. Ask about her day. Discuss world peace. I sound like Jason Funderburger. I guess the Bigelow family moved into a house. Which is good for them. Give heartfelt compliment, please. Ask about her. You know what? Oh, oops, look at that. Oh, Darling has an actual job. Good for them. Okay, we're gonna... Just take out our tent and we're gonna sleep in here for tonight. I'm gonna cheat down her energy needs so that she can sleep through the night. And she's gonna get catch some shut-eye. Okay, and that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play The Sims for the Chandler Family. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe. And I post new videos every single day, so if you'll catch in tomorrow, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye!